It is time for the MNRC Off-Road Racing Series Finals. We are headed across the St. Croix to New Richmond, Wisconsin. Famous for their dairy products, fine breweries, distilleries, and of course dirt track racing at Cedar Lake Speedway. Slightly less famous, but just as impressive, is Rick's Hobby Farm. Rick's Hobby Farm caters to many aspects of the RC hobby. In addition to the off-road dirt track, there is a large flying field with a covered area for working on aircraft. There is also a boat pond on the grounds, with pylons anchored at the ready. Rick has a concession stand also, and the barbecue pulled pork sandwiches were amazing. The track has a nicely elevated driver's stand, with an observation level, and an enclosed area for the race director. The surface is a dark clay. It was packed hard and would quickly develop a racing groove. Pit Lane and Mechanic Alley are what we typically see at a Nitro race. The layout would definitely offer some challenges. Especially the Big Triple, which by Sunday's mains, had a pretty good headwind. The weather is cool, and the forecast for the weekend is looking perfect. It is going to be a great weekend for the MNRC Off-Road Series Finals. Qualifying went pretty well for both Alec and Caden. They would put all four cars into the A-final. Here is Alec's team associated buggy in one of his qualifiers. The track is beginning to groove, but is not quite there yet. Some racers are considering a bar tires, but most are on a harder compound small pin, such as sweep pixels or carbides. This big triple jump in the back looks pretty easy today, but its complexion would change on Sunday.
It is time for the A finals. Nitro Truggy is up first for the Hins brothers. Corey is sending them out for their warm up laps. He checks the online scoring to confirm their starting positions. Alec asks for a little more top end, so a quick temp check and adjustment. Caden's truck is still running a slightly high idle, but he is not experiencing any engine run on, so they decide to go with it. Corey would prefer the high idle over a potential flame out. This was a last minute engine swap, so hopefully it was the right choice. Alec is fourth on the grid, and Caden is starting in sixth. Alec has had a great start, and has jumped into second position behind Josh Ford. Caden is running in sixth, right behind Tony Swenson and Joey Fitzsimmons. Alec is running clean laps and has put a little bit of a buffer between himself and third place Jeremy Whiting. Caden is struggling to find his flow and is still in sixth place. The swapped in Novorossi Drake edition is looking good. It seems to be holding its tune and running well. Caden has to smash the brakes to compensate for the headwind on the triple and manages to stick the landing. The wind gusts have been getting stronger all afternoon, making the triple jump a slight gamble. Some racers are choosing the safer double single. Joey has passed Tony for fourth and Caden is starting to track them down. The boys cycle in for their pits, Alec first. Caden comes in next and has requested a little more low end needle. Little Riker Erickson is pitting for his dad and doing a fantastic job. Caden managed to move into fifth place prior to the pit stops and is where he would continue to run until a mechanical would take him out of the race. Alec is having one of his best races in Nitro Truggy this year, 
and continues to put in solid laps in his quest for the podium. He is catching his brother, whom actually aided in towing him through lap traffic. The team's comms are all on the same channel, so even the boys can communicate during the race. Jeremy Whiting, in third place, is definitely on the move and is closing the gap between him and Alec. Jeremy Whiting would catch Alec and make a pass for second. Alec would hang with him looking for a possible opportunity. A small roll on the front stretch, and he would lose touch with Jeremy. Still, an amazing drive to finish third on the podium. Nice job. Corey does a little temp check to see where Alex's Alpha Dragon engine is after 30 minutes of competition. Next up is the Nitro Buggy Final. Corey will be doing double duty in the pits, refueling both cars. Savannah White will assist on the start, placing Caden down on the grid. The boys would start 6th and 7th on the grid. The headwind into the triple is worse than ever now, and would claim its first victim. Luckily, Caden was able to sneak by. Caden's start was good, and is running in the fourth position behind James Dolan. He would dive to the inside after the triple to take over the third position. Alec had a tough start, and is currently running in twelfth position. James and Caden would trade positions a couple more times in the next lap, before James would lose touch. The racing is extremely tight, any mistake will surely drop your positions. Caden would also pass Josh Ford, so only Kyle Holmberg is out in front of him now.
There are many tight battles in this race. Tony Sletton, who had a terrible start and went from third place to 11th, is making a charge. He is hunting down James Dolan, who holds fourth position. The leader makes a mistake and gives Caden some real estate, but Caden would make an error of his own. Unfortunately, he would also crash on the triple, giving Kyle more breathing room. The race is half over, and Corey calls the boys in for their second pit stop. Caden would get hung up on the race barrier at the end of the straight, and his engine would flame out. Corey would get his engine lit and back on track, but critical positions have been lost. Caden would re-enter the track in fifth place, behind Alan Smith. Both of them hit the triple, but Caden is able to hold the inside a little tighter and puts his car in the gap, but then over jumps the stairs and Alan retakes the position. Caden would have an overall tough lap and has now fallen to sixth position behind Tony Sletton. He is all over Tony's bumper, looking for an opening. Caden airs it out over the triple, but can't hold the line. On his second attempt, he jumps past Tony and defends the line. He continues to charge, and is hunting down Alan Smith. His sweet pixel tires look amazing, allowing him to hold the line, and carve the apex. Alan Smith would lay up on the triple and Caden would leap past. However, Alan Smith would get back by Caden. As they battled, they continued to march forward, and now James Dolan is in the mix. Right now, I'm
They know they need to risk the triple, and all three make it through. All three racers make mistakes this lap. The order and spacing has changed. James Dolan still holding on to the third position. James would crash on the big triple, and Caden would take over the third position. James would crash again lifting some of the pressure, but then Caden stuffs the tube at the end of the straight. It's fair to say we have a nervous pit dad. During his charge, Caden would clock the fastest lap of the race and would be the only one to go faster than 29 seconds. His top five laps average was also under 29 seconds. He is definitely having a heroic drive. Caden regains his focus and starts ripping off fast laps. Corey and Caden have a quick discussion over position, as Caden wasn't sure of Josh Ford's position in front of him. With just under two minutes remaining, Caden has caught up to Josh Ford. Josh traction rolls on the elevated corner, and Caden is through. Now he just needs to hang on for a few more laps. Caden is on his final lap of the race. Can he bring home a second place podium? Caden would finish it out in second place, and Alec would come home in ninth. What an awesome race!